Hi everyone, my name is Autumn. I am one of the TW influencers and I am gonna be walking you through a day in the life of a doctor of occupational therapy student. Let's go. So as you can see, I'm ready for the day. This is typically what I wear to class, a TW occupational therapy shirt and scrubs. So I do commute to class. It typically takes about 20 minutes. Today I have an 8 a.m. class and it goes until 12 p.m. I am walking up to the MCL building now. It is the multi-purpose classroom and laboratory. This is where all of my occupational therapy classes are gonna be at. As I'm walking into the building, you're gonna see a cafe called Pete's. So Pete's is open during the fall semester and the spring semester. So it's unfortunately not open during the summer. However, they do have great coffees and snacks and they do have sushi as well. Today I decided to come to campus earlier because I needed to print out a bunch of things before I started class today. So here's just a little bit more of what the MCL looks like on the first floor. I am actually going to head up to the second floor because that's where the computer lab's at to print everything. The neat thing about TWU is that you have endless black and white printing, which I love because it's very beneficial for all of my classes. So as I'm getting closer to the computer lab, I did want to mention that within this lab, there are three printers to print at. So all you have to do is just kind of jiggle that mouse a little bit and you put your username and you put your password and then you should be able to log in. And here is my really good friend from my cohort. We actually had the same idea to print our slides earlier before class today. So now I'm exiting the computer lab. I'm going to take the elevator up to the sixth floor. So the sixth floor is gonna be where all of our lab classes are gonna be at. So this is gonna include the occupational therapy ADL lab. This is gonna include our wheelchair transfers. Also where our pediatric class is at as well. So as I'm going up the elevator here, I do wanna mention that the sixth floor is not only occupational therapy, we do share a floor with speech as well. So you're gonna see a bunch of fun balloons that speech has decorated for the children that come into the clinic during the summertime. I do have to say it coming off the elevator and seeing the view of TWU is one of my favorite parts of my day. And like I said, there are the fun balloons with stars and the children absolutely love it. It's fun to see. So as I turn to the right, this is going to be the hallway that is dedicated to speech and OT. All the OT classrooms are going to be on the right and then the far right classroom that you're seeing right here, those are actually gonna be the first year students. And I am a second year student, so I am gonna be in the back classroom right there. However, first years are also able to use it. But this is where we do our wheelchair transfers and we do a bunch of bed mobility and practicums working on ADLs. We do have a kitchen in the back and we have a bathtub and a sink to practice. So I usually am one of the first people to arrive to class. I just like to have everything ready to go. So today we're going over Parkinson's disease and MS. Our professor had a lot of fun stuff prepared today. So we were able to practice on bigger movements that are supposed to help patients that have Parkinson's. And then also she allowed us to see different types of spoons. So this spoon is supposed to help with their tremor so they can independently feed themselves. And then this spoon is a weighted spoon that is also supposed to help patients with Parkinson's. Yay, it is 12 o'clock, which means class is officially over and now I can go home. Here's another friend of mine that is in my cohort. We were just catching up after class and now it is time for me to eat lunch. I am having sushi from my favorite grocery store, Aldi. It is quick and yummy and makes me very happy. I have a long night ahead of me, so I had to have a quick serotonin boost to play with my cat, Kato, before I hit the books.
Okay, as you can see, I am back to studying. I just finished lunch. This week I do have two midterms and one final. It's pretty hectic, but shout out to the coffee over here that's powering me through. I do have a couple more hours to study for the rest of the day. Then hopefully next week I can kind of relax in a sense, but in my doctoral program, there's no such thing as, you know, off days. There's always something to do. In the meantime, I'm gonna be studying and then I'll get back to you in a little bit. I'm convinced my cat is also getting his doctorate in OT. Look at him study. Alrighty, I am back and I just wrapped up about three hours of studying for my adults lifespan class. I really needed to study for this because I do have an exam tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So that was my top priority. Obviously during my three hours of studying, I did take those well needed breaks. That being said, I have to study for my neuromotor class because I do have a midterm in that as well on Thursday at 8 a.m. So you can see where there's not a lot of time to fit in that studying because I do have a test tomorrow night and then I have a test at 8 a.m. on Thursday. After I eat dinner, I'm going to study this for about probably two to three hours and then head to bed. So here is my dinner, as you can see. I finished dinner, but I really needed to listen to my body and take a quick power nap. I took a 20 minute nap and now I'm gonna get back to studying for the remainder of the night. But I was like, why am I feeling so off? It's because I didn't go to the gym today. Typically I go to the gym four times a week. I go to the TWU gym. I mentioned that at all, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I can answer any questions regarding occupational therapy or anything about me. I'm an open book. I would love to answer any of your questions. Alrighty, here I go back to studying again. Okay, you all, I am done studying for the night. It is getting pretty late here and I am exhausted. As you can see over here, I need to put away my binder and notes and my cat is right over there. I just actually want to thank you all for watching this entire day in the life of an OT student. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have any type of questions about what occupational therapy is, I am a second year student, so feel free, like I said, to ask me any questions. If you have any questions about my journey about OT or just me in general, please reach out, comment below. I would love to answer. So thank you, and if we like it, maybe we can do another day in the life. Okay, bye and good night, everyone.